Hey guys, for today's circuit style training video, I'm using the Title Tank, and this is the Compact Trainer. Check out the link in my bio and also for a discount code of 10% off and you can get your own. So grab your Title Tank, grab some water and a towel, and let's get started. This first exercise is more of a warm up. We're doing a stationary lunge side to side with big figure eight arms with the Title Tank. Think about keeping the core engaged and the feet planted on the ground. Let's get into position. Those feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart and bring the tank overhead. Hold the belly button in and let's start. Lunge side to side and give me a big swoop with the arms. You'll notice that the water shifting side to side will throw the balance a little bit off, but don't let it stop you. Keep moving and flow in a nice continuous motion. Only a few more seconds left. Last three, two, one, and stop. Let's rest the tidal tank on your shoulders. Step at those feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do squats with alternating abductor lifts. This is going to work the outer thighs and all the way through the glutes. Keep the hips pressed back, and when you lift the leg up, really think about squeezing the glutes and outer thighs. Okay, let's get into position. Place that tank on the shoulders and set those feet out wide. Ready, set, and let's begin. Squat nice and low, and then lift that leg for the outer thigh. Also have that toe pointing down just a little bit so you can target the glutes a little bit better. Keep the chest up and the tank resting on the shoulders. Don't forget to keep breathing. Keep driving through the heels. You've got this. Let's finish this set in three, two, one, and stop. This next exercise is really fun. It's a staggered walk while shifting the tidal tank side to side. If you have space to move, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, just do a couple steps forward and then take it back. The main goal is core stabilization. While you shift the tank side to side, try not to let those hips move. Okay, let's get ready for those walks. And go ahead and begin. Going nice and slow, you wanna plant the feet down and then shift the tank side to side. Remember, try to keep those hips nice and square. You're doing great, keep it going. Keep breathing and maintain the good form. Make this more challenging by shifting the tank a little bit more aggressively side to side. All right, this is it, last three, two, one, and stop. This next exercise is pulsing squat jumps. Place the tank over the shoulders, and you're going to sink back nice and low in the squat position, pulse for three, and then add a jump. Make sure to land with soft feet and soft knees. For a lower impact version, go a little bit slower on the pulses and remove the jump. Let's get into position and begin. Pulse squat for three and then add that jump, landing with soft feet and soft knees. Make sure to sink back in those heels and keep the hips back when you're doing the squats. If you need to bring this down a notch, remember the modified version, slow the pulses down and remove the hop. You're doing so great, keep it up. Last few moments. Three, two, one, and stop. For this next exercise, we're doing a halo around the head with the tidal tank into a cross back lunge chest press. Alternating sides every time. The challenge will be to maintain your balance, so keep that core engaged and the back nice and straight. Let's get ready. We're beginning in three, 
two, one, let's start. Perform that halo, and then cross back lunge, chest press. Halo the other direction, and then do your cross back lunge the other way. I know this exercise has a little bit more thinking involved, but you've got this. Remember to keep the core engaged, it'll help you with the balance. Also try to keep the tank nice and even when you're performing the chest press. You've got this. Last three, two, one, and stop. Here's a great full body exercise. Perform a Romanian deadlift into a low row and then stand into bicep curls. Keep a soft bend in those knees and the elbows nice and tight. Also, don't forget to breathe through the entire movement. Get into position, roll the shoulders back, and let's start. Hinge forward with your deadlift into a row and then stand to biceps. Feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and glutes and really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together on the rows. Keep those elbows tight when you stand and then perform your bicep curl, really contracting those bodies. Also make sure that the knees are softly bent. You never wanna lock those out. Finish strong in three, two, one, and stop. Nice work. Here's one for the obliques. We're doing standing side crunches, dipping that tidal tank down towards or past the knee, and then standing back up. Get ready, and let's begin. Crunch to the side, and then alternate the other direction. Think about really squeezing those obliques and keeping the core engaged. Again, like always, watch your balance. The water in the tank is gonna shift side to side and will wanna throw you off, but don't let it. Great job, keep it up, you're in the home stretch. This is it, last three, two, one, and stop. Nice work. Thank you so much for doing this workout. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL. See you next time.